Hey guys, it's Peter here, and today I'm going to show you how to add um, bass line slash uh, how to use the piano roll uh, for beginners using FL Studio Part 2. Alright, uh, first of all, um, what you have to do is um, go to channel and then add one and then uh, as you can see there are varieties of um, VLC plugins and uh, what we're going to use today is uh, Boo Bass as you can see it's Boo Bass yeah. uh, because it's uh, pretty simple and because uh, you're a beginner so yeah uh, we won't be using any of these plugin misc or functions all we will be doing is use um, using the piano roll because the, that's a bit advanced as you can see here it looks confusing uh, we could use the bass and the uh, triple and uh, that etc so um, if you just want to turn your uh, keyboard on your keto keyboard so as you can see here if you just press this yeah, the light will turn on and then you can uh, type on your keyboard and it will make um, noises skills um, you can turn the bass skills uh, yeah or uh, the tre treble but uh, we won't be using that so so um what you need to do now is um right right click on boo bass piano roll yeah looks pretty cool skills um so i will be showing you some basic uh piano note steps uh what you have to do here is um, zoom it in so you can only see the first four um, beats or oh, first four blocks sorry uh, so in total there will be 16 beats uh, as you can see here there's like this box and you just click on it and drag up yep after you dragged it up um, uh, I will uh, just make um, uh, 16 beats, so four blocks, and uh, I'll be showing what's going on as step sequencer here. On one side. Um, mm, yeah, I'm gonna use um, C. So on the second half of the on the um, second half of the first beat, I'll be putting a beat. So four beats in total for one block. That's nice. And then on the second block, I'll be putting a so two notes above. Same principle, and then and then again two notes higher on the third block, and then again back to the first um, note that we use. So. Nice. Uh, you can always play and check it. So yeah. Um, what you can, what else you can do is, um, as you can see here, is a select box. So you just click on it. Select box, sorry. And then you just select all your um, notes, beats, and then click on draw. And then just drag it down. So 
it will be still the same thing, but it will just uh, it will just sound a bit different. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick to that. So after you've done that, guys, uh, just go ahead and close. And then, as you can see here on your um, step sequencer, uh, there will be what you did on the piano roll. And as you can see here on the piano on the pia um, step sequencer, sorry, uh, it will show what you did on the piano roll. Uh, just uh, go ahead, open your playlist, and then. Um, uh, it's not the same as making normal beats with kick lap, hat or snare it's um, much more a bit harder so just for example if we put like um, uh, four kicks and then play it after this you won't hear the beat so the kick sorry that's because um, the uh, uh, bass line is four times bigger than the normal um, um, samplers so even if you put uh, all of it and play it uh, f from the start sorry from uh, from the start now see uh, so yeah uh, what you can do now is uh, what we usually do just rename your pattern to yeah sounds good. it's easier uh, get rid of your kicks and now just put in your boo bass and uh, let's listen to it how it sounds So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, comment, and rate, and I will be making a part 3 soon, so bye bye!